So here we are on my brand new second generation Fire Stick Max. You can see I'm running Fire OS version 8.1, which is the latest version. But watch what happens now when I press the play button on my remote. Three, two, one. I now have a fully working virtual mouse that I can use on my brand new Fire Stick. I can move around. I can go from the top to the bottom. I can click on things. I can select things. And once again, use all of my favorite applications that required a virtual mouse. So in this video today, let me show you how you can follow this process on all of your devices. And once again, get a virtual mouse working on all of them. All you need to do is just hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, make sure you've got ADB debugging enabled on your device. Then go to install unknown apps and make sure download is set to on. Once you confirm that, let's now press the home button and let's start Downloader. Inside Downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my website, head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines. Click on that. Click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can now get a fully working virtual mouse on the newest Fire OS 8 devices. Let's open that up. Here we are. So how to get a fully working mouse toggle on the Fire OS 8 devices. This entire process requires three applications to be installed. Now, full credit to the creators of these applications. We have the first one, which is Mouse Toggle, which was actually designed for Android TV, which was created by Viresh. We then have the Accessibility Permissions Manager, which was created by Swin Wolf, who I'm sure, as you know, is the developer of the Launcher Manager, all the different versions, as well as, of course, the Wolf Launcher. And then we have Permission Manager X created by Irfan. Now, using these three applications, I was able to get that mouse toggle working. You just have to follow the process and make sure you complete each of the required steps in the correct order. Now, let's scroll down. Here we can see the step-by-step -step instructions on how to enable ADB on your device. Underneath all of that, we should have those three links to download those correct versions. And make sure you download these exact versions because, for example, with Permission Manager X, if you get the latest version, Unfortunately, due to storage requirements or storage restrictions, the application doesn't work properly. I had to find a much older version, which actually worked with my Fire OS 8 device. So these are three applications. Click on each of the links. For example, the first one here, scroll down and click on the green download button to install it. Then press back, then click on the second one and install it. So install those three applications on your device. Once you have them, let's now press the home key Let's now go over to application list. Okay, so you've now downloaded those three applications onto your Fire OS 8 device. You've got the Accessibility Permissions Manager here. You've got the Permission Manager X here. And finally, you've got this special version of the mouse toggle. Let's open up this one first, just so we can see exactly what's required. And we can see at the top, we have four requirements which are currently not granted or not running. So they're the four things that we have to fix before we can start using a virtual mouse or the mouse toggle on our device. Let's fix them now. So let's press back. So the first one I'm going to open is the Accessibility Permission Manager, which is this one here. Let's open that up. So the first thing you want to make sure at the top, this accessibility service is enabled, like so. And we now want to select where it says the mouse toggle service. So we are basically granting access to the mouse toggle service so you can access the accessibility services on our Fire OS 8 device. Let's click on that. That's now ticked. I can now click on save. That's now done. Let's go now and check the mouse toggle again. And we can see now it says the accessibility permissions are granted. We just have to fix the other three. Let's now do that. Let's press back. And let's now open up Permission Manager X for the first time. Okay, you'll see this message here. You want to click on OK. So the first thing you want to do is go to the top left. Let's click on the menu, scroll down. So we want to click on ADB show because this application uses ADB to make those required permission changes. Let's click on that. You'll then see this familiar prompt. 
Let's click on always allow. Click on allow again. That says that failed. Let's click on OK. Let's now go back in. Click on that one more time. ADB shell. We at the bottom, it says connected to ADB. Okay, and once you see that, that means you're now ready to go. So all we need to do now is just find the mouse toggle and give it access to those remaining permissions. Now, the quickest way to do that is if you go to the top again, let's click on that and scroll down to where it says exclusion filters. Click on that and select exclude system app. So this will basically filter the list for applications and just show you the user or your own installed applications only. Let's select that. Let's now press back. We can see the list is now shortened. I can now scroll down. And this is the other slight bug where when you're scrolling down, you can't actually see which application is highlighted. But if you keep pressing down, basically the last application in the list is the one that's currently highlighted. So keep pressing down until you see the mouse toggle. So a few more times, here we are. So mouse toggle for Android TV. I can now press the select button. And now I can see all of those permissions that I'm able to adjust for this application. And the one that we're after is the system alert window, which is the ability to draw over applications because for your virtual mouse to work, that virtual mouse has to appear on top of your other applications. That's the permission we need to grant. So now the way we do that here is if you press up on the remote a few times, then press right, we can now see these icons are selected on the top right. Once you can see that, you can now start pressing down so we have the first one, second one, third one. When you see that highlighted, you're on the right spot. You can then press the select button once. And this basically means we've now given it the permission to draw over other applications. Let's now press back. We can now press back again to exit. And this is now the moment of truth because we've granted the permission. And let's see what happens now when we open up the mouse toggle. Let's open that up. And we can now see everything is in green. We've got the correct permission. We've got the correct access. We have the ability to draw over other applications and that service is now running. So that's it guys, your virtual mouse is now ready to go. So how do we activate it? Well, if you press down a few times here, for example, you can change the size of the virtual mouse. You can change the icons. So you have light, you have dark, you have an orb. You've got some colored one here. You've got a hand. Let's go for the hand. Let's be a bit different. Let's scroll down. Now by default, your virtual mouse will scroll through the edges. So if you keep scrolling to the left, it will then appear on the right. And, and similarly from the top to the bottom. But if you want to turn that off, you can take this box here. Let's keep going down. Let's keep going down. We can ignore these messages here. And this is the key part. You have to now specify which key do you want to press to invoke your virtual mouse? Now, if I click on detect and you can now basically press any key that you want to hold to bring up your virtual mouse. So I'm going to press the play button. So keep that press for three seconds. So one, two, three, you can see it's detected. That I'm pressing uh, key number 85. It says, do you want to confirm that? I'm going to click on yes. It says the new boss key activation key is set to 85. I can now click on save. Okay, it says boss keys 85. Let's now press the home button. And this is now the real moment of truth. Let's now long press play. One, two, three. And we now have a fully working virtual mouse on our Fire OS 8 devices. I mean, this is something that you guys have been asking for a long time, more or less as soon as these devices were released. So many of you are asking, how can we get a virtual mouse working on these new devices? And you can see now, guys, is working absolutely fine. You can move up and down. You can go left. It appears on the other side. You can go to the top. It appears in the bottom. Let's now actually use this in an application that requires a virtual mouse. Now, a great application for that is the Aurora store, which is basically a direct access to the Play Store, where you can get all of the applications directly from there, but on your Amazon device. Now to disable the virtual mouse, I'm going to long press the play button. So one, two, three, that's now gone. Okay, so we're now inside the Aurora store. Let's now bring up the virtual mouse again. So long press the play button. Here's our virtual mouse. So I can now move around. If I want to click on this file manager. I can press select button. And you'll see this the first time because we're using the ADB version of this mouse toggle. You'd have to click on always allow. 
Now, before you can click on always allow, you have to again, disable the virtual mouse. So don't press the play button. That should now be disabled. And you can see I can now click on always allow, click on allow again. And that then clicks on there. So let's just enable that one more time. So long press play, bring up the virtual mouse, it says that we're in mouse mode. I can now go to the top, I can click on back. That takes me back. Let's say for example, I want to scroll down. Well, the way you enable the scroll mode is you press the activation key once. So instead of long pressing it, just press it once. It says you've now got the scroll mode enabled. So when I press down on the D-pad, that simulates scrolling. So scrolling down, scrolling down. That's working fine. I can now scroll back up. And if you want to go back into mouse mode, just press the activation key again. So one press and we're back into the normal mouse mode. So again, I can move around. I can now click on this TV web browser. Just show you that the clicks are working fine. And if you want, you can go ahead and install this application if you want to, but I'm all right for now. I'm now going to press the home button. And again, to disable the virtual mouse, long press the activation key. It says D-pad mode, which means I can again use my remote control in the standard way. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video. Do share it with somebody that wants to use a virtual mouse on the new 4K Fire Stick Max or the new 4K Fire Stick. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.